I love a boat with tons of elbow room. It doesn't make me feel like a sardine packed into a can. And if you want that kind of room, both inside and out on your boat, Hunts 44 Express Cruiser is definitely one you'll want to check out. To create that open atmosphere, Hunt stuck with a time-tested design, the flush deck. It's the same level from the transom clear on up to the galley down. Even down below in the cabins, Hunt maintained that open feeling. Come on, check it out. By using a two stateroom layout, each stateroom can be significantly larger than if you added a third. Now, you do lose privacy for a third couple, but I say that trade-off is well worth it. Where you really see the advantage is here in the second stateroom. Now, on most boats, this would be a very cramped cabin, but here, we have got a ton of space. And just look at all the room in the head. I mean, this thing looks like it belongs on a 50-footer. I can even shower comfortably in here. The galley is ready to cook up just about any kind of meal. You have an under-counter dishwasher right here, even. Got it like that. With an aircraft locking latch, refrigerator and freezer, a nice big deep sink right here, a two-burner stovetop, a microwave, and plenty of stowage. Although, if this were my boat, I'd add rubber bumpers here so they didn't bang. Now, you want to talk about a creative way to use space. When is the last time you saw a 44 footer with a washing machine? Of course, to have that fresh open feel, you gotta have a salty breeze. That's why two windows and the sunroof all open up. You know, it's easy to find the stuff that looks nice on a boat, but if you really want to get a better idea of how boats built, check out the hardware. Look at these doors. They lock in position, they're nice and solid, these are going to last for decades. Now obviously the interior woodwork is just striking, but a lot of thought went into the decor in the Hunt 44 Express. To get some more insight into just what they were thinking, we talked with John Hendricks from Hunt Yachts. I love this marble countertop and this high gloss varnish. Can you tell me what's the concept behind the interior in this boat? We wanted to create a uh, light and airy feeling, so we selected white, highly figured Carrera marble, teak with high gloss varnish. John, I appreciate all these beautiful windows, but let me ask you about something. With the ultra leather in the seats and in the dash trim, uh, isn't there the possibility that all that sunlight's going to damage them? No, not really. The ultra leather stands up well to the sunlight. Uh, the UV of the sunlight, and we have side shades, we have coverings for the windshield, and we have sunshade for the moonroof on top. Oh, good. All right. Well, hey, let's go take the boat for a ride. <laughs> Sounds good. We cruised along at 23 knots, and at that speed, we got 1.3 nautical miles to the gallon. That's pretty darn good for a 44-footer. At wide open throttle, we hit 33 knots. Now, we ran our speed and efficiency numbers in calm water, but we also took this boat through some very rough seas. And believe you me, that Hunt Deep V hull, it can handle it. Part of enjoying your time on a boat in the outdoors is meal time, right? Well, in the cockpit, we've got an electric grill, an ice maker, and a refrigerator. Handling this boat with the pod drives, hey, it really is a piece of cake. But if you want to get outside and really see what you're doing, look at this. Hunt even put another joystick control back here for you. So Peter, one of the things that really struck me was that on a 44-foot boat, you got all the room in here for this garage. How in the world did you guys do that? Well, really, the arrangement uh, above the garage and the garage itself really are tied together because the flush deck arrangement that works so well in the interior really gave us the space for the dinghy uh, in, in the garage. And also, it gave us the space for a large garage, which was really easily accessible and functioned well. Now, the structure of this boat is built a little bit differently than normal for Hunt. In fact, it's all resin infused, isn't it? Yes, all the components are resin infused. The hull sides, the bottom, all the web frames, and a lot of structural bulkheads, watertight bulkheads are resin infused. And this is done for a couple of reasons. One's to save weight and also for strength and rigidity. Here's another design aspect that I really like about this Hunt. High rails and a wide walkthrough. That means it'll be really easy for your average couple to run this boat. Well, wait a sec. The couple that owns this boat, they'll be anything but average. <laughs> 